Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to round nine, the Brazilian Grand Prix of the season eight American PlayStation 4 F1 2016 Championship. This is qualifying. For once, we will stick with our entire lap here in qualifying. We're well up on now, Delta in sector one. Currently, it's Dubsy on provisional pole, my teammate and championship leader. We set a banker on the medium tyres, as did Meb and Forza Alonso, who are both in front of us at this stage. So we'll be wanting to improve on this set of soft compound tyres, and perhaps go for a two-stop in this race. The one-stop is possible if you start on the mediums, but it's very borderline as to whether you can make it if it's a fully green race. Safety cars and virtual safety cars may actually help, but they aren't guaranteed. So I'd say a safe two stop and a front row start if possible would be the best bet here. We've had a pretty good run through the middle of the lap and look at the delta, we're massively up. This should be provisional pole for the moment. We'll open the DRS and see what time it is across the line. A 10-4, wow. It turns out Dubsy would go on to beat that by a tenth. We did improve later in the session by a minuscule margin and that did not affect the positions at all. We would start from second next to our teammate and our front row lockout for Mercedes really showing our pace and dominance here in Brazil. So the lights were on and out very quickly and I actually missed the start there by a very small margin but small margins are what it's all about here in F1. We've got the house of Mystic around the outside for Alonso and he's uh, well, we got swiped. Thankfully no damage to our front wing, but that swipe, which turned out to be latency, really has damaged my chances of winning this Brazilian Grand Prix, or even being on the podium. So, recovery job starts. We're in 17th currently. Wavy Tyler in the Toro Rosso, which was my championship winning car from last season, is in front of us. We don't want to run into his uh, rear end and cause ourselves damage. That would just make this recovery completely impossible. Around the outside we go here, hopefully he leaves us some space, he certainly does, and around the outside we go. That's our first move done. Next is Pork Chops, and we'll take him medium rare up the last corner there. Now I've got Sassafras, and then we're going to try and chop him down. I like these puns, guys. <laughs> Ooh, we had to get off the throttle there, because that could have been horrible damage. Still have the pace to get past, though, and the Force Injury is demoted to 15th. We're up to 14th. And now I've got the McLarens in front. Bubba is gone wide there, looking for the Kimi Raikkonen line. And uh, up to 12th we go. Next is his teammate Brian. He gets pretty sideways there at the exit of the center S's. And down the inside we go into a corner that I've forgotten the name of, but it is a pretty cool name from memory. So now it's Hootius next. Teammate is in the pits, that's Dubsy. He received some damage early in the race. So his race has also been compromised, but at this stage he is quite away in front of us in terms of net position. You see he's not in the pits now as we go past. Further cars in the pits, and the one behind us right now in the pit lane is Forza Alonso. So he's almost a pit stop up. That's just how much damage was done to my race. 79% on the rear right there. Definitely time to get into the pits. I didn't really realise how bad that tyre was at the time until I looked at that. So we got into the pits, and then onto the medium tyres. We're going to take pork chops once again. He's still on medium rare, not quite well done yet. And up into 12th. Okay, the dot off there at turn one is Job's, the commentator. That's not a car for position or anything. Now I've got Bubba once again. He's, uh, I think, still on the same tyre he was at the start. And there's an opportunity up the inside here. He backed out of that, thankfully, and our ascendance up of the order is continuing. Now we have Mitch Mann, he's a race winner in the NASCAR series in PRL, as we saw at Charlotte last week, but in the Williams, he has not quite got the pace here at Brazil, and around the outside we go to take ninth place, now behind Dubsy. Up ahead, do you see some problems for a Renault? That's J-Dub having some serious issues. Could not quite tell you the story of that, but we are past him, up into 7th place. Oh, that is absolutely key. 
Perfect timing for us to pit and go on to our final compound, which is the hard. Where will we emerge? This is key for our race in front of our teammates, stunningly. So we're out in fifth behind DS Edman in front of Ditchwich. So here's the race restart. The leaders are only just up the road. This could be a great recovery, possibly to a win. Some lap traffic to uh, get past. And that is purely unacceptable. I would stay out with that fully damaged front right end plate. That cost me probably over a second a lap due to DS said man breaking or at least heavily slowing down on a straight. That cost him his entire race. It cost me the chance to progress through the field. It cost me this position to my teammate. I let him through because he was faster and as we're teammates I'm um, supporting his championship push. So that would be fifth place for us. Could have been a win, at least a podium, but uh, several accounts of bad luck forced us down to fifth. So a uh, very disappointing race. And a victory, a first of the season for Forza Alonso, who gets a lucky one there. Dahi and Meb on the podium. See you guys next time in Hungary. <laughs>